and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. And today we are actually going to be talking about a hair care item that is going to be the Way Super Dry Shampoo and I got sent this by Way and Influencer, so thank you for that, but all opinions are my own. So we are going to break down the ingredients in the Way Dry Shampoo and my thoughts on it. So if that is of interest to you, please keep on watching. So the first two ingredients on the list are isobutane and propane. And these are alternatives to the chlorofluorocarbons, which are detrimental to the ozone, not good for the environment. So these are supposed to be less damaging than those chlorofluorocarbons that have been used in the past. And these are gases because of the nature of this spray. It's an aerosol type spray. You need some sort of propellant. So the next ingredient is denatured alcohol or ethyl alcohol. And if you want to hear more of my thoughts on this, I will put a video up above. But in this formulation, it is going to help suspend those ingredients that are going to help absorb the oil and make your hair look less greasy. And since alcohol is volatile, it evaporates very readily at room temperature. It is also put in here so that way when you put it on your hair that it is going to evaporate and you will not be left behind with like a sticky or a wet kind of residue because the whole point is to make it look not greasy. And the next ingredient is dimethyl amidazolidinone. I think I got that. Rice starch. So very shortly, this is rice starch, and this starch is going to help absorb the oil in your hair. This is basically the active ingredient of a dry shampoo. Other options are such things as corn starch, kaolin, which is a clay, but in this formula, they choose to use the rice starch. I've seen that probably most commonly amongst dry shampoos that I've tried out, and we also have water in there, and the and another ingredient is cetrimonium chloride. So this is a quaternary cationic conditioner that basically has to do with the charge and structure. So we're not going to go into it specifically. That's probably a little bit more information than anybody besides me cares to know, but throwing it out there for you. And this is going to help condition the hair. So that way it's softer. It feels nicer, and in formulas, it can also act as an emulsifier. Next is sea salt, and you probably have seen sea salt in texturizing sprays, wave sprays is usually what it is to the hair. It's gonna help texturize the hair, and it also helps to absorb moisture as well. A replacement for this could be magnesium sulfate, which is basically Epsom salt, and that could also be used in a formula like this for the same reasons. Also on the webpage on Ulta, they advertise it containing volcanic material, and these two ingredients are zeolite and sterilconium hectorite, and these are what are derived from volcanic material. Another use for zeolite is that it can be used in aquariums for purification purposes, such as removing ammonia, and sterilconium hectorite can also be used as a suspending agent in cosmetic formulas. Those are some of the basic ingredients that go into this dry shampoo, and now I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. I'm very excited to tell you that whey was originally only available at Sephora, but it is now available at Ulta, and the Way Super Dry Shampoo retails for $24. This is a very, very strong spray, and they do tell you on the back of the bottle to, well, first of all, on the back of the bottle, funny tidbit is that they tell you to shake it like you have PMS, which I thought was kind of cute, funny, some witty stuff on the back, but they tell you to hold it you know, whatever X distance is away from your head, and that's very important. It's a very strong spray, a little, little tap, it'll just shoot out at you, so you don't want to overdo it because this can and will leave a white cast if you put too much of it. The white cast, when you use it at a normal range, is very easy to get out. I just kind of like shake it out a little bit with my fingers for like styling purposes, it worked good to go. The smell, I don't know how to describe the smell, but I think it smells really, really good. 
So if that's something that's important to you, your hair will be smelling great afterwards. This one in particular that leaves the hair feeling very movable. It doesn't feel crunchy. In terms of how your hair texture feels after this, it'll feel like there's some grit in there, but it will still be movable. So in this case, if I wear my, if I use dry shampoo and I style my hair, I could still wear it the next day. It doesn't feel super off. It doesn't feel like I immediately have to wash it because that was like the only thing that was keeping my hair from being like completely gross. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but a lot of times when I use like a lot of styling products, I feel like I have to wash it out. Like if I use a product and I can't wear my hair with the same style two days in a row because it just gets too gross. Don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I feel. It does take away the greasiness, which I like. In comparison to other dry shampoos I've tried, this is one of my favorite. The other one I really, really like is the, is it Living Proof? I think it's Living Proof. If I could find it, I'll link that one down below too because that one's also a good one. This one's great because you can get the white cast out so easily. The only improvement would be is if they did like Batiste and did like the colored ones, but the white cast does come out easily, which I really, really like. And I like that I can add it and I can still style my hair after. Sometimes I use certain things and if I use a product on there, like that better be how your hair was gonna look the rest of the day because you are not gonna be able to move it after adding it. This one feels a little bit heavier. Instead of like the living proof one is great for like every day, like when I wanna just go out and I don't need a lot of volume, but I just need to like not look greasy. So this one is great if you do want that little bit of extra volume, kind of like a two in one kind of product. So if you are looking for a little bit extra volume, more texture, this is gonna be good. It's kind of like it's gonna do both for you. When I go to repurchase a dry shampoo, I will probably buy this one next time. And yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you were in the market for a dry shampoo. And like I said, this one a little goes a long way. So that's something to consider as well. And I hope that you enjoyed this ingredient breakdown slash review of the Way Super Dry Shampoo. Again, thank you to Influencer and Way for sending this to me. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a like. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.